Incredible Hulk opened up and out of his package. And as I gotta say, there's one thing that I had to say about this video. Nice. He is, I gotta say, the detailing on the figure is so nice. I'll take him off his base, and uh, here's the base. And uh, it's all underneath, so it's a bit flimsier than I expected it to be. But it holds a, it holds the figure really nicely. On to the figure. Here's the face on this guy. It's sick. Look at that face, man. It looks like he got a little buckly there. But uh, I did notice I had some yellow on mine. But not too big of a deal. I guess they combined yellow and green with the figure. But not too bad. You can see Hulk's stomach there. Here's Hulk's face. It's awesome. Yeah. And uh, the fists look really nice. Part of my fingers. Fists look really nice. And uh, he's got really nice detail. Really like the hair. People don't like the teeth, but, but I do like it. I like that the teeth are sculpted. I like that the teeth are sculpted. I thought that's kind of neat. Ooh, hope teeth. One, one thing I thought I, one thing I problem I had with the figure is they didn't paint his toenails like the other Hulk figure. You know, the movie one. Look at those Hulk toes. Huh? Huh? Look at those Hulk toes. And also, one funny thing uh, I figured out is they sculpted Hulk's nipples. Hulk nipples. They gave Hulk nipples. Look at that. Hulk nipples. Okay, I'm messing around too much. But in the way of articulation, you gotta be really careful with the articulation on this guy. Mostly the head. Only turn the head left and right. Okay? If you saw John 3.0's video review, his head, the head on this figure broke off on him. So you gotta be really careful. So... Yeah. In the way of articulation, he's got articulation the head, a free range of movement. He's got articulation the shoulders, the elbows, the hands. He has no articulation the torso, but he has articulation the waist. He also has articulation the legs, the knees, and also in the foot. So, meaning that this is Marvel Select and not Marvel Legends, you're not going to get a lot of articulation as you would. But the articulation on this figure is not bad. I really like the articulation on this figure. And, uh... Ah! Sorry about that. But, uh... There's one thing I really wanted... There's... Sorry about that black thing. I'm using the iPad. And it's not easy using it. And uh, I'll put this hook aside here. Because uh, I want to show you a size comparison. And, uh... So what I want to know, you guys, I want to know is how he would fit with the uh, other Avengers. That, now this is the uh, Bucky cap, which I don't have the Steve Rogers cap in there. Cause this is that's the Extremist Armor Iron Man, and this is the Spider-Man Classics uh, Spider-Man. And I think he works in perfectly. I love it. He works in great. I love it. Now, there's something I want to tell you. In the Incredible Hulk movie, Tim Roth just stands around uh, on the bottom of his man chest. As you can see, uh, Captain America is around that same height, as you can see. So, yeah, this is a really nice figure. I highly recommend this figure, even though if you, you're a Hulk fan and you're trying to look for a Hulk. And I'll catch you later. Peace.